Remember when it was cool to customize stuff for like a solid year or something like that on YouTube? I think we need to travel back in time, dip into some old trends because I have this hydro flask here and I am dying to paint it. I know this is probably like not cool to do anymore, but this is what I want to do. <laughs> so I'm doing it. Anyway, this hydro flask is kind of cool because there's a straw instead of like, you know, the cap or whatever you twirl off. So I'm excited about this. And since we're going back in time, essentially, because I did this video like two years ago when everybody else was doing it as well. <laughs> I'm gonna use Posca pens and probably acrylic paint. Do some sort of mixed media thing. You wanna know something cool though? Comes with an extra straw. That's a sign of a good water bottle. Whoa, hello? Hello? Is my voice different in here? Hello? Hydro flask. Wow, it's been a hot minute. Let's figure out what we want to do. First of all, I learned from the last time that I need sandpaper for this because the last time I did this, yeah, it did not stick very well. Let's just get some sandpaper. I will take a piece. I feel like this is gonna be awful, like. We can do this. This is gonna be a horrible sensory experience, but we can do this. We are strong. I'm about to get goosebumps, but we're gonna continue. I don't even think I care if it sticks or not. This is bad. I don't like this. Hibby jibbies. Hibby jibbies. We have our somewhat sanded feeling water bottle. Let's have fun. I think for this, we are going to, I'm brainstorming, don't judge me. Sometimes you have to just think about your life for a little bit, you know? This combination. We're gonna go with that. Oh my goodness, I have to sand up here. This is bad, this is bad. Oh, one more thing, this will be a giveaway. So if you would like a chance to win this water bottle after it is completed with art, then go over to my Instagram. It is Mira Byler. And there will be a post on Instagram that you can comment on and stuff to win. I don't do YouTube giveaways because the messaging system and stuff over here, it's too dicey and really annoying to mess with, so. Go over to my Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, I'm sorry, you can either make one or not participate. I love you, but that's the easiest way for me to do this. So, yeah. Also, I'm gonna address something. People are commenting on a lot of creators' channels lately saying like, they're posing as creators, ripping their profile pictures and stuff and saying you won like some secret giveaway to text this number or whatever. Don't do it. I'm not doing any other giveaways. Look for the little check mark next to my name. If there is no check mark next to the name of the Mira Byler or whatever that replies to you on YouTube, ignore them because it is a scam and they're just trying to get your information and your money. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ignore them, report them, all of that. Anyway, shame on all you scammers out there. You shouldn't be scamming. Let's get back to this water bottle. I am so glad I sanded this. It's sticking way better than the last time I did this. I just have to suck it up, you know, and deal with this feeling. I'm actually gonna just sand down here one more time before I continue. I could have also primed it to get this to stick, but I don't really enjoy using primer, so I'm doing sandpaper. I don't really know how I want to go about this. You know, like what would you do? Oh, I'm not gonna color over it. I'll just do like a white stroke around it and leave it there. The first stripe is done. So that means we move on to this color. 
Whoopsie, I forgot these do that. Little drippage. <gasps> Uh-oh. Bad news, bad news. We got a problem. Let's see if we can fix it. Wow. <laughs> Whew, that made me nervous. It's all good. Why did I ever stop using Posca pens? Like why? They're kind of really fun to use and super satisfying. Whoa, this is a lot darker than the other color. I'm just gonna test and see if this one is a little bit better of an option. Oh, I may have made a mistake. We'll see. Okay, we're making progress. I'm pretty sure I did something similar to this with my last hydro flask video, now that I look back. But I very clearly have different plans for this one. So stay tuned, because once I cover this, the design is gonna be very different. This darker pink color now. We shall do the next, wow, that's so much different. Oh no, am I making a mistake? <laughs> Maybe. You ever be making art and then you're like, I need a snack break. I deserve this snack. This is the awkward part. I just don't wanna get paint smudging all over the place, you know? Oh, I think this feels off relatively easy. Another day, another opportunity to paint. I just wanted to prank y'all, but here we go. My friend Amy brought me Starbucks. Thank you. I have to tell you something about this. So I used this beautiful unicorn milk. This is from Stuart Semple's paint line and I love this stuff. Like this is my absolute favorite stuff from Stuart Semple. So I sealed this Posca pen in with the unicorn paint and it's like so iridescent and beautiful and just, I love it. So we're gonna paint over it now. Look at how beautiful it is though. It's so, ugh, has the best shimmer. Now the fun part with this, what we're gonna do next is, ugh, I've been looking forward to this. We are gonna do animals and clothing. I'm just like really into that again. I think it's just because it's like winter, cold out. I can put scarves and stuff on them. So let's see what's gonna happen with this. You can see behind me, there's a bunny wearing a scarf. I did that in my testing Mariah Elizabeth's paint and art set video. And now I'm just in the mood to continue. Let's see, I kind of want to do, let me pull it up. Did you know I closed 255 Safari tabs on my phone this morning because my phone was acting like it was about to blow up. So uh, now it's like a new phone. I want to do an orange cat. And then we can move on to whatever animal I decide. For the back of this, I have a bunch of lovely paint brushes in my customized Starbucks cup. You know, I should do another one of those videos. I have a feeling I will need a lot of tiny paint brushes for this endeavor. I'll take what I can. Tiny paint brushes are like scissors. Like they really go missing all the time. Does anybody else feel that way? Got my Poscas here in case I still want to use them. But let's paint a cat. Let's do this. Here's our beautiful paint palette. I'm going to mix up a nice color for this orange cat. Let's make this cat's ears come up around the logo. This is gonna be a pretty fluffy cat. 
But you know what? This is a perfect opportunity to ask you a really fun question of the day. Do you have any unique pet names? I don't really have any pets, but my grandma has a dog named Abby from Downton Abbey. So that's fun. Okay, we have the cat sheep. So now I'm just gonna fill it in. Boom. Okay, I'm not gonna do the fur down here because this is gonna be a sweater, so may as well not waste that paint. <sighs> it is with great regret that I have to share with you some really sad news. My nasty spray bottle has finally stopped squirting water. This thing is so old though. I've been doing this segment lately when I use this, saying, say hello to my nasty spray bottle. But now we need to do a segment here saying, say goodbye, goodbye. to my nasty goodbye. spray bottle. Goodbye. I'm gonna try to make it work for the rest of this video by just like pouring water where I need it to go. But you better believe I will have a new spray bottle the next time we paint together. Okay, let's figure out a color for the sweater. I'm kind of thinking a cream color would be cute. Nice and creamy. This looks so weird right now, but just bear with me. It's gonna have like a scarf later. We just have to do some pieces first. So for the scarf, I think it should be light pink to tie in with the background. Everything is blocked in now. This is good. Ooh, I'm gonna color borrow and do this color for the ears. Oh, this is so cute. We'll let that dry and then we'll touch it up. Oh, I think I should do the eyes on the cat real quick and then go from there. I don't know how I wanna do this nose. Do I wanna do that? Not really. We'll stick with it. No, we're not, we're changing it. See, I'm gonna walk you through making a mistake, being annoyed about it, but like not actually, cause we know we can fix it and then we'll fix it together. It is okay to make mistakes. You can just fix it and move on. I just, I think I want like a pinkish nose. That's the thing. Okay, let's do like a yellowish eye color. We're moving on to the eyes, by the way. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Let's do some little reflections in the eyes. There we go. <laughs> okay, so decisions have been made. We are going to do the nose differently. Let's use this color. And I wanna do more of like a squished higher nose. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm gonna take this pink color and blend it into the cat's fur a little bit. All right, I need to do some sort of mouth on this cat. I've been putting it off because I just don't know how I wanna go about it. What if I did like a, ooh, like a kind of a grumpy looking mouth? Or should I just do like a mysterious, like, oh, I think a little frowny mouth would be cute. Okay, I'm gonna make this piece of scarf a little darker. Okay, so now comes the fun part. We're gonna start doing like more shading and just designs and stuff. First, I'm gonna do a little bit of fur in the ears. Now for the fur in the face, it needs some help. Don't you think so? Doing all this detail work is seriously one of my favorite parts. It looks so awkward until you start to build up all these details. If you ever get discouraged, just remember, it might take a couple layers or trial and error before you reach something you're happy with. And that's a-okay. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? I just had this realization. It reminds me of Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets when Hermione turned herself into a cat. Let's work on the scarf. You know, wait, no. Let's do the sweater. I have a really fun idea for this sweater. So let's see if it works out, first of all. <gasps> Ooh, closey. Oh, 
Okay, I foolishly carried the sweater down like that. Don't ask. Don't ask. Let's just do the stripe down here and not talk about it. It's not even proportional, but we're gonna roll with it. Okay, make this a little darker now. Okay, I'm gonna just do little like dots too. Now comes the fun part. Oh, I can't wait. So we want this sweater to convey cozy and the cat's personality. And this cat here really likes fish. So it's a fish sweater. Oh my word. <laughs> this just makes me smile. Okay, all the fishies are gonna have eyes. I just decided. Decided. Do some little dots in the cream color. Let's work on the scarf. Okay, I'm doing some lighter zigzaggy stripes on this scarf too. So far! I kind of want to do like stars and moons to go with this cat because the vibe on this cat is just very... I don't know, it's just a vibe. Now the question, do I want to bust out my Poscas again for this part? Cause I very well could. I kind of like that idea. Let's just see what happens. Well, I don't know. I don't think I want to risk the Poscas anymore actually because sometimes they explode and I just spent an hour and a half on this. Cat, we're gonna do paint. We're gonna do a moon like right here. What do you think, another one right here? I want to add white stars all over the place. You know what? You know what? What a perfect opportunity to use my new Mariah Elizabeth dotting tools. I've been so obsessed with these. <laughs> Our little friendly cat. I usually let you folks name my characters. Please name my cat. What do you think we should call this little fluff ball? I love the stars and the moon and everything like that. I don't know what it is about this. It's just so weird. I think that's what it is. I'm telling you, at this time of year, every year, I get really experimental. And then when it gets warm and stuff, I get back into like more traditional paintings, I guess. So. We're at the experimental stage of the year. I hope you're enjoying it. It's a nice reminder to create because you love the process and not to stress out over the final result. Remember, this is a giveaway and do not reply to any comments under my YouTube videos about a giveaway. It is not me. People are making fake accounts. They're doing this to like every creator. Do not text the number, do not reply to them. Go over to my Instagram at Mira Byler. No other handle will be doing a giveaway. It is just this one. Go there, follow the rules on the post to enter. And let's see, I will choose a giveaway winner on Tuesday, December 20th over on my Instagram. But yeah, please do not reply to anybody on YouTube. It is fake. They are trying to scam you. Don't do it. Even if it's not me, if it's like other artists in the community, it's happening to everybody all over YouTube. But I do have something else to tell you. You can consider it a spoiler alert for a future video. I'm like super in the mood to customize stuff right now, so I got Yeti mugs. I really enjoyed customizing this hydro flask with you. So thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you probably in a couple days. I don't know. December has tons of videos. This month is gonna be so fun. I have been filming ahead for weeks to prepare for this so that we can hang out. Have a lovely day. Bye. <laughs>